And just like that, it ended. Each of our branches within the region closed in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We waited for the reopening that never really happened. And then we tapped into technology and we haven't stopped. In the fall of 2020, representatives from each of the branches within the Northeast region met to discuss the possibility of a regional event. The outcome of those meetings would be a series of virtual sessions via Zoom. Hosting would be rotated among the branches and scheduled for the fourth Sunday of the month. The hosting branch leads with party pieces from their members, followed by members of other branches. Playing as a group would be problematic, but it was important to continue with the music and strengthen the ties among the branches. Burke Curry Siri members, led by Emily and Sean Carroll, agreed to launch the premiere session with good results, almost perfect results. After adjusting the process, Utica and Boston followed, with Buffalo scheduled for April and Rochester and Albany to come. Enjoy some clips from the Reynolds Hannafin Cooley Zoom files. The stories are as important as the music. Welcome everyone. This is the third in the series of regional sessions that we're having one a month across the uh, Northeast region. And it is uh, totally uh, cool to see you all here today. Yeah, I'm uh, Patrick Bowling. I uh, grew up in the Boston area and taking uh, lessons with Boston cultists as a kid. Uh, you know, in the past handful of years, I've been kind of actually probably six or eight years I've been subbing in and then I've had a handful of full, full time semesters teaching at CC for flute, whistle and baron. It's good to have the online CCE uh, music classes going. We've been we enjoyed uh, a semester that, that went well. We got good feedback from everybody and we're just kicking off our our second semester of online classes. Uh, so I'm just doing uh, some flute and whistle classes with that. Um, yeah, I guess we should get some tunes going, huh? It's been a lot of talking, not a lot of tunes, right? Yep. <laughs> Have you heard of Phil the Fluter from the town of Ballymuck? The times were going hard for him, in fact the man was broke, so he sent an invitation to his neighbors one and all. That's how he'd like their company that evening at a ball. And when riding out, he was careful to suggest to them that if they found a hat of his convenient to the door, the more they put in, whenever he requested them, the better would the music be for batter in the floor, with the toot on the flute and a twiddle on the fiddle. -o. Hopping in the middle like a heron on a griddle -o. Up, down, hands around and cross into the wall. Sure hadn't we the gaiety as Bill the Fluter's ball. I was just delighted to see Michael McHale sitting there because yes. uh, he's of the same generation, a great teacher and a lovely man. Hi, Michael. <laughs> your father's shirt it's called <laughs> i actually heard that when i was like 12 or 13 believe it or not before mm -hmm. i knew anything at all about irish music there's a kid in my class and he he, he lived with his two aunts and uh, the, i went over to play one time and she one of the aunts kind of sat him at the piano and put her hand on top of his hand and played this tune and I said, what's that? And she said, it's called, Can You Wash Your Father's Shirt? Which I'd never heard of. <laughs> and I, I'd never heard of it again until uh, Mick O'Brien put it out on a CD with uh, Queen O'Reilly. And there it was. It's amazing. Awesome. Awesome story. <laughs> uh, the stories, that's, all, that's what it's all about. Oh, we were hanging in there. Um, I had a 
I had a harder time getting on this uh, Zoom than I did signing up for COVID. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry <laughs> to hear that. I'm going to play a couple of Kerry slides. Good man. Yeah, one is Johnny Larry's. And by the way, it's got the same name as the Piper had for a name. Why don't you wash your father's shirt? That's the first one. All right. <laughs> and the second one is uh, the Garavane. It's one of uh, Donald Murphy's slides. Lovely, lovely. Okay, try it. In your own time. I miss seeing everybody. I miss the drive to visit you guys. Uh, no, two hours each way. Oh my God, bless you. <laughs> but I always had good company, so it's all good. <laughs> oh yeah, indeed, the best. Yep, yep. So I'm going to do some polkas. All right. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> we'll put our polka pants on because let me know if you can hear. Okay, you should be able to hear. I think it's time to dive into a little bit of the Irish language stuff we've been talking about. Monday night class is going to do, um, uh, Mish, excuse me, is Misha and Changa, the Changa Yanga. So we will start with Joanne and uh, Patricia, Kaylee. Misha and Galga is Misha the Yanga, is Misha the Koltu. Do such na filme, do such na huisla, do such na diname. Do such na lini, go brojo abishied, of this misho feed rain. Ah, honey on strong sheer, corshe fui kishme, is rodney ba vasa. Your ma le mohlan me, is tom log. Is Tom Trey? Post Tom live. Is Bay May go bio? Tok suis machian. Ker achas er makri. Lauer gay may. Oh, lauer gay may. I am the Irish language. I am your tongue. I am your culture. Uh, the gentry used me, kings used me, the mm -hmm. people used me. And the children used me, proud they were, and I flourished. A stranger came and trampled me underfoot, but worse was to come. I was unloved by my children, and now I am feeble. I am still with you and will be forever. Lift up my head. The joy in my heart. Speak me. Oh, speak me. A poem is poem by Sean O'Riordan, right? So who is one of the major poets of the first half um, 
of the 20th century. Um, uh, cool at sea, which is well known, you know, in Irish schools too. Um, the thing to know about O'Riordan was is that he was sick through most of his life. He had tuberculosis, so he spent a lot, a lot of his poetry is about him laying down, being sick, and kind of being isolated from everybody else. And so this poem is about him kind of looking out while he's isolated from his family, looking out at the back of back of the house. So I'll let our Irish group take over and do Cool at Sea, the Sean O'Riordan. Tatirna Nolger Cool at Sea, Tir Alan Trinachela. Lot Kerachos eg Shulnashli gan Broga Arha Nalena gan Berla Akab Naglaelga. Ak Fasin Kloka Eir Gach Dream, Tatir Shatrina Hela, Is Lao Tatanga Eir Hulan Ti, Nar Hug Ain Eir Akesa, Is Tashe Shud Sakreanish. A Kerka on is all Shakin, Is Laha Rihin Wolach. Is Gair Mordov Mar Nawaj Satir, Eg Drana Lagach Enya, Is Kat Eg Kru Nabenya. A Huni here to bank for wheel, Is in to see and seal on. Kunli, Pukli, Son Hatatui, Is Trumpa Balnita, Is Kito Barn, Marie An. Ana Agan Tinkeri, Go Nifa Trina Hela, Taguil Ku Lakulanti. Is be the Gara Derka, a who got tea in Erin. Go wild and there are who on tea, said the Hyakt Gadenak. Go vecken on our hurt gali, and Televine Shineasep is a in a fuka lanta. For the English, uh, the English uh, at the back of the house is the land of youth, a beautiful, untidy land where four-footed folk wend their way without shoes or shirt, without English or Irish. But a cloak grows on every back in this untidy land, and a language is spoken at the back of the house that no man knew but Asa, and he is in the clay now. There are hens there, and a clutch of chickens, and a sluggish, unsophisticated duck and a great black dog like a foe in the land, snarling at everyone, and a cat milking in the sun. At the western corner is a bank of refuse containing the wonders of the world, a chandelier buckles an old straw hat, a trumpet dumb but elegant, and a white goose-like kettle. Hither the tinkers come, saintly and untidy. They are germane to the back of the house, and they are accustomed to beg at the back of every house in Ireland. I would wish to be at the back of the house when it is dark and late, that I might see on a moonlight visit the tiny professor, Aesop, that scholarly sprite. I would like to uh, bring your attention to the fact that this, as Tim did say, this is a cultist session. Are we our cultists. Uh, one of the uh, missions of cultists is to promote and retain and revive, revive Irish music, language, poetry, and storytelling as a cultist member to consider, as Tim asked, being members of cultists because our Irish language needs promoting the, the music seems to be alive and well, songs are alive and well, but the language needs a lot of promotion. Larigi, as the song, as the poem said at the beginning, speak me, oh, speak me. I am your culture, I am your language. Larigi me, Larigi me.
Nora and Emily are committed Irish musicians, and COVID-19 has had an impact on their music. Join them as they talk with their mom, Heather. How has COVID-19 affected your Irish traditional music playing? Well, the pandemic was definitely hard on everyone because we weren't able to play together in sessions as we had been, but it actually was helpful for Nora and I as musicians because we were able to hone in on our skills a little bit better while we were alone and we had each other to arrange with. And given the pandemic and the challenges, it, the challenges that it gave us, um, I was able to take a um, better role in Cultus and become the youth officer. And with the Cultus branch, we started regional sessions online, which had been going really well and have been giving people motivation and people to play with during this hard time. Nora, how did COVID-19 affect your Irish music playing? Well, the weather has actually affected us the most throughout this, including COVID-19 as a mixture. So first, when COVID-19 first hit uh, Connecticut and spe uh, specifically, we were first doing a bunch of Facebook Lives and a bunch of performances from inside our house. But then as the weather got better, we decided to be playing outside and that we should be helping people in need like at food pantries. So we did a bunch of benefit concerts, um, which we called Carol Sisters on the Road, where we did a bunch of driveway concerts for many people. And so we made a lot of money to donate and we made a lot of, we got gathered a lot of food bags. And so that was very beneficial for us to improve our performing uh, speaking and uh, improvising even and so that was very good for all of us but as the weather got colder during Christmas and other holidays we decided that we should do some carol grams which is where we did online recordings or live recordings for other people to listen to during holiday season so all of these were very beneficial for us to learn how to present our music better to other people and it was very beneficial for other people we think that because it gave the tradition to other people here. At the Reynolds Hannafin Cooley branch, Tara Lynch and John Kearney talk about the decision to go with virtual school. What do we do and how do we manage it? And so John and I, you know, was like, what do we do? Because we have students ranging from six or seven years of age to seniors, let's just say. We need to do something. And we had a meeting with the teachers. And there was uh, mixed emotions about having to go into Zoom lessons. But I think they were pretty much all of a, an opinion that we needed to try to keep it going, that it was important for the students and it was important for the community to try to continue with some semblance of normalcy. And we had, I think it was around 80 or 90 students. Yeah. I'm happy to say that, you know, we actually had a very successful first 10 weeks and we're in the process right now of starting up another 10 weeks. So we're managing to at least keep some semblance of the school going and mitigate some of the things that COVID have put across our faces. It's been kind of surprising all of the young families that wanted to use the time to get the kids, you know, into some whistle lessons or fiddle right. and at least get them started. And they've been very happy. Right. With yeah. Impressive that uh, maybe, maybe some component of that Zoom will stay or yeah. it's just, it's hard to see right now, but I think uh, some good things have, have come out of it. The other thing about Zoom, which is kind of interesting as well, is that I've noticed now that it's enabled us in the region to get a little bit more connected with the other branches. And so far as we have some students where there may not be a teacher of alien pipes or an accordion or something like that, we have actually some two students that are from those other branches attending our lessons, which is cool, because there, there wasn't the opportunity to do that. You'd only have maybe a workshop or something like that. So hopefully post-COVID, um, we'll have more ways to, to build those bridges.
While the pandemic of 2020-2021 has taken its toll on our branch activities, we were among those making virtual contact with each other. Zoom meetings and sessions have become quite regular events. Online classes in music, history, and language returned us to some sense of normalcy. When good weather allowed, we had socially distant sessions on porches or around campfires. Rather than deterring them from meeting, COVID-19 only changed the venue to online. And somehow they managed to add more events to an already busy schedule. Monthly Zoom branch board meetings began last April and continue to occur. Their monthly Tunes by Year workshop transitioned to Zoom last spring and is led by Ben Hockenberry. Participants are from Canada, Michigan, New Hampshire, and Central and, and Western New York State. Mark Ballard led a long-running beginner's session and a regular session on the last Sunday of the month via Zoom until the regular venue opened up live to a max of 15 musicians last month. These are at Johnny's Irish Pub in Rochester. Charlotte Tavern, the venue for a long-running Tuesday session coordinated by Bob Taylor, also went online. Ben Hockenberry has also initiated a third Sunday of the month Zoom session that began in January. During the pandemic, like so many others, we had to pivot. On our normally scheduled session day, the sheet music and a YouTube video of a new tune were emailed to all members. Several members continued to play together virtually, utilizing an app called Jam Kazan. Our friend and all Ireland flute and whistle player, Mike McHale, used the time to begin composing tunes. Take a look at some of the sheet music for Mike's lovely new tunes, along with a recording of Mike's niece, Hannah Fitzgerald, playing Mike's hornpipe, the Liscanner, on piano. The Martin Wind Branch is continuing their conversational Irish language classes. Let's take a look at the class to see how the students are doing. What is our goal today? Five it's Friday. Friday. Five for Friday. Five sentences. That's uh, why these things are good. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, ahain, a kahra, ahain, a tree. A cooig, a law, folker. Law folker? La folker. Oh, la bolker. Oh, okay. Um, I Holland, New Eric. Um, <laughs> is, is Misha Sean Walker? August, and I'm not sure if it needs an is or a ta somewhere in here. Aaron Mayarmuk. Is Misha Shanwaher. Okay. August. Aaron Mayarmuk. But I don't know if you need an is or a ta, or can you just not have that? And it's assumed. August air on. Yeah, I think you still need a verb. So if I say, and Aaron is my grandson. So Aaron, my grandson. But do you put August ta Aaron? Or because it's a permanent thing, do you say August is Aaron Moyarmak? Um. I would say, so the second part has the kapala. We have the kapala in the first part. Yeah. So somewhere I read recently, it might have been in that grammar book that I have or what Kevin had given us. For some reason, and, and this could be totally wrong, I think 
I saw that you put the verb after August again, like August is August is or August ta. Yeah, that's what I in my brain right now. But like I said, it could be wrong. <laughs> I'm going to ask about that. Margaret can't come this morning, but I'm going to ask about that. Um, a tag. I'm Kofra Agat. I'm Kofra. I'm Kofra. Agat. Kofra. See, I'm trying to use the words that I don't normally use. Yeah. <laughs> but neither do uh, any of the rest of us. Um, last one. Is Malumve a grave? August is Bralum egg a shock kyo. So is Malum ve like when um, you. Malum, I like what? That's the other. Egg lave. Oh, reading. Oh, I'm reading. Oh, oh reading. I'll eat a m h. August is problem a ishak kyo. I love to listen to music. Music. <laughs>